Good morning, Good Rich Cardinals. Happy Monday to each of you. We hope that you are having a fantastic morning and that you had a great weekend. The sun is shining. It is beautiful outside this morning, a little chilly, but it is gorgeous. And so we hope that that makes it a little easier for you to find your sunshine within. What do you need to do today to find your sunshine within? You have many tools in your toolbox in order to be able to find your sunshine within, in order to put yourself in the right mindset. It is Mindset Monday, where we talk about getting ourselves in the right frame of mind in order to be successful throughout the week. We have talked about gratitudes. We've talked about affirmations and mantras. We've talked about all these different ways in order to prepare ourselves mentally for the week ahead. We are now in what week six of being at home and sometimes that can be really complicated. We've talked about how it might be difficult now to continue to be nice and kind to those around you because you've seen the same people for so long now. It might be hard when you know, yesterday it rained a little bit and maybe you didn't get outside as much as you wanted to. It might be difficult when school seems a little difficult seems really hard and sometimes that adds an extra layer of stress it might be stressful if you're a little bit a little behind maybe time management is an area of growth we have all these different obstacles against us and that's why we talk about the importance of setting ourselves up mentally for the week ahead making ourselves strong for the week ahead now if you're like me last week was a hard week and i talked to you a little bit about that i was so tired and, and i was going to bed early i was running in the evening i was drinking water i was trying to eat the right foods and still i was so tired and i was so frustrated about being so tired so this morning when i woke up i told myself that i was going to recognize the emotion when it came to me today. So if I'm tired today and I'm frustrated about being tired, that I'm gonna tell myself it's okay to be tired. And then I'm gonna put some actions in place. And then I ask myself two questions. Do I need to get up and stretch? Because if you're like me, you're sitting in front of the computer a lot right now. Do I maybe just need to take a break, walk away, um, focus my eyes on something other than the computer screen? My body is in the same position all day. Do I need to get up? Do I need to stretch out? What do I need to do? Or do I maybe just need to get up and take a walk outside? Maybe just do a lap or two around the building. And so I've actually made myself some note cards to put around my office today. And so when I start to feel that I am tired, I'm not gonna get frustrated. I'm going to remind myself, it's okay to feel tired today. That's okay. That emotion is completely okay. And then I'm going to ask myself two questions. Do I need to stretch or do I need to go for a walk? Those two things might help me to not be tired. Do you remember when Mr. Joel was here and we walked? We took a drink of water. We crisscrossed and then we bent down. Ooh, we got to a pretzel. I can't remember all of our words. I just thought about that. I may have to do that today. I may add that to my list. Do I need to walk today? So make sure that you are recognizing your emotions today and then putting some actions in place that maybe help you fight those emotions. So my attitude today, my mindset today is that it's okay to feel tired. And then I've got some things in place to help me fight that feeling. What are you feeling today? And what things do you have in place to help you fight that feeling? Write them down. This is just a, like an um, index card. Find a piece of paper, find a post-it, find whatever you need. You can write it, you can write it on anything and stick it where you're going to be. So it may be that you're going to stick it right here, right by your, your computer screen. It may be like me that you're going to stick it on my desk, on your desk. I may stick it on a table. I may stick it on the door. I may do whatever I need to do to have multiple of these around because I was so frustrated by being so tired last week. And I don't want to repeat that again. So my mindset this week, it's okay to feel tired. Maybe I just need to stretch. Maybe I need to go for a walk. Maybe I need to take a drink of water. Whatever it is, I'm in the right mindset today to handle that. So make sure that you put yourself in the right mindset today too. I'll tell you some people who are probably in the right mindset today because they have a birthday is Jacoby Beard. Happy birthday to you turning nine years old. Happy birthday to you. And Madeline Miller turned seven yesterday. Happy birthday, Madeline. Goodness, I hope you all have a fantastic day today. What a beautiful day. It is gorgeous outside. Get outside and play. Get outside and celebrate your birthday. Guys, please know that we miss you. Man, it's hard. 
It is hard to get up and come every day and know that you're not here. And we cannot wait to see you. And you know what? Some beautiful soul posted, posted, they didn't post it. They colored, I'm going to show you a picture on my phone if you can see. They made a beautiful message for the teachers here. Oh, you can't see it because of the lighting. I will read it to you. In Sidewalk Talk, it says, We miss you, GS teachers and staff. Hashtag teachers rock. That is so kind. And I cannot tell you how much it made my day. I walk in and I stopped and I said, Oh my goodness, this is so sweet. Thank you. That ripple effect is far and wide. I am going to post this for everyone to see and for all of our teachers to see. And so thank you to whoever did that. It made our day. I cannot thank you enough. All right, friends, make it a fantastic day today. That choice is yours. Find that that uh, mantra or that affirmation that you need to put yourself and keep yourself in the right mindset today and this week. Identify some action steps that you can take in order to back up that statement. All right, friends, we love you. We miss you. We hope you have a fantastic day. We cannot wait to see you. We love seeing your Fun Friday pictures. We saw you doing yoga. We saw you taking things apart. It's just fantastic to see your, your faces through pictures, if nothing else. All right, friends, we love you. Have a great day.